Guys, here we go. It's your ranter. It is a rant, but man. I just I just don't understand what our world's come to today. So here's the latest thing. Custody battle going on. They're going to meet for a deposition at an attorney's office here in Vegas. You've got the wife, okay, who is represented by her now husband, who is also her attorney. Insert joke where you want. Okay. Now, not a joking matter, but trying to add a little levity to what I'm about to tell you. On the other side, her ex whatever whatever he is if he's her husband or boyfriend or whatever he is he's the baby's father he's not there but his father is his father also an attorney here in las vegas he shows up for the deposition to represent his son apparently during the deposition dad didn't like something that he heard so he pulled out a gun and he shot the mother and her now husband who was also her attorney and then turned the gun on himself of course and killed himself so he doesn't have to take any accountability for his actions other than the fact that he's no longer here but you know took took, took the easy way out in my opinion he did so They, of course, had to evacuate the building and the cops go in as if it's an active shooter. And then all this stuff, of course, is found out afterwards. Now, I... God, this is, this is, no, this is no attack on any rights at all, this, 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 this video, this rant. Because I'm not attacking anyone's rights. God, no. Listen, you want my opinion... We need to put more guns in places that there aren't allowed guns right now legally. That's my opinion on it. But the guy gets in to the building with the gun. Not sure how he got it in there, if he had it just in his pocket or what the deal was. He put it in a suitcase, you know, his briefcase, whatever. He got it in there somehow. Now... An attorney's office, although I don't know laws specifically here in Vegas, I would think that that is one of those places that is what what uh, I call a soft target. Okay? In other words, legally, you're not supposed to have a gun there. Now, obviously, that law mattered not. If there is such a thing, again, if there is such a thing, don't know, but if there is. So this goes back to a rant that I did a while back about soft targets and how we should not have any soft targets and how <laughs> we don't need more laws. God, folks, we don't need more laws. We, we need to get the guns in the hands of the right people. We need to get them out of the hands of the wrong people. And we need to stop having soft targets. If the guy would have walked in, pulled out a gun, and any of the other people that were in that room also had a gun, they could have very easily neutralized the situation before it even got out of hand. Number one. Number two. Uh, the guy probably would have, would have not even gone that far had he known other armed people were in the room. But he knew there were no one. But nobody, there was nobody armed. See, I can't even fucking talk. I'm so upset. There was nobody armed in that room but him. So he's able to easily pull out a gun. Now, he shooed a couple of people as the, that's the news' term. He shooed a couple of people out of the room before he opened fire on the two that of course were his were his targets however doesn't make it any better and it doesn't change my view doesn't change the rant we need to get rid of the soft targets in this country don't you agree don't you agree with this 
if this motherfucker would have walked in and he would have encountered anyone else that had a firearm, he would have thought twice about using his, I guarantee you. He would have thought twice about it if he would have used it as, at all, if he would have even got a chance to use it. Probably wouldn't have even got a chance. Whoever else was there would have neutralized the situation anyway. I'm too upset about this, guys. I gotta go.